Yo, what's up guys, and welcome back to another video. For this video, I will show you how I made my YouTube profile picture. In order to make one, you will need Roblox Studio, Blender, and Photoshop. All of these programs will be in the description below. Without further ado, let's get right onto the tutorial. For the first step, you need to go to Roblox Studio, Base Plate, Plugins, and then download the plugin that I linked in the description below. Before we use the plugin, you need to go to Workspace, base plate and just delete the base plate next step at once you download the load character plugin you click it and type in your username once you've typed in your username press spawn r15 and then wait for it to spawn once it's fully spawned press x so after that you go to your character right click and press ungroup so now everything will be ungrouped after that you can manually move every single part of the roblox body so i will just make it so it's uh, the right arms pointing forward so let me do that right now now after you move every part of the body that you need to move you need to work on putting back all the head accessories this might take a while but it's worth it so let me do that right now. Oh yeah, and keep in mind, for the head accessories, you can't just uh, click them as you normally should. Um, you need to go to the Explorer page and just, you need to click them manually. That's just a reminder, I forgot to mention. After you spent 1 million years trying to put back all your headgear, it's time to export this as an OBJ. So in order to do this, you go to File, Advanced, and Export as OBJ. From here, you can name it whatever you want. I'll name it Model 5 because I have so many models. And just click Save. After that, we're going to transfer to Blender. So the Blender I will be using is 2.79. Uh, the reason why I'm using this blender is because I'm used to this blender and I'm not used to the new 2.8 blender or whatever the version is. So when you open blender, it should look like this. So what you do is you just click anywhere, click on this box and delete it. After that, you go to file, load factory settings and just load the factory settings and then you get this. Delete the block block, block again. And then go to File, Import, and Wavefront OBJ. Now go to the same page you saved it, your file in and load in your OBJ file from Roblox Studio. Now what you do is you uh, look for the your, your model, and for me it's right there. So you're going to move your model to the base. I'm so wait, this might take a while as well. Once you've done that, you go to this little ball right here, click it and put material. Now you go to view. cameras and then active camera a shortcut for that will be num numpad zero if you have a number pad and after that you press shift f to enable a uh, wasd and if you want to go faster you can use your uh, mouse wheel so now position the 
camera to where you want to take the photo of. So I'll do it right around in the face with some headgear. Just like that. After that, you go to the camera and then you put 16 and click full sample. Go to shading and set the replacement to sky. Transparent, sorry. Then go to this go to the world and enable ambient occlusion and set the samples to 128. After that, click lamp. Uh, click lamp here if you don't have it already, but click lamp and then go to the lamp setting and then disable specular. After that, you'll be ready to, s to render. Remember, this might take around 30 minutes to render. I mean, yeah, 30 minutes to render. So, well, at least for me, at least. But it's going faster now because my uh, no one's using my Wi-Fi. But yeah, just wait for a while. It's gonna take quite a long time. I'll meet you when it's finished. <laughs> Done rendering. Okay, it's gonna take quite a while, guys. <laughs> Oh my god, it's finally done. After you render that, you go down here to image and click save as image and just save it anywhere. I'll save it in my Roblox folder and I'll name it model five. After that, we're gonna move to Photoshop. Once you're in Photoshop, you go to file, new, and set the width and height to both 800, color mode to RGB color, and the background contents to transparent. Oh, actually, it can just be any, but I recommend it to be at transparent. After that, you press OK, and then go to File, Place, and place any background you have. I have one ready. This is the one I used for my real uh, picture, my real uh, profile picture right now. So it's already blurred, but if you, if you have a normal background, it's nicer when you blur it, so you go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, and set it to around 9 or 10 pixels. After that, you go to FX, Color Overlay, and send, set it to any color you want. I like it to be purple. I don't know why, it just looks nicer. But set it to any purple or any color you want, and then go to Blend Mode and set it to Color. After that, press OK, and you'll have a colored background. After that, this, this one is optional, but you can add some sort of a frame around it. So what you do is you go to the rectangle tool and go to fill and just completely remove the fill. 
and set the stroke to a color darker than your background and then just create a little frame like that and then set the PT to around 25 or 30 and then set the opacity to 50. After that, the final part to make this profile picture is to go to File, Place, and place the model that you just rendered. And just scale the model to your liking. I'll make it quite big so it looks pretty cool. Just like this. And then you go to Effects, Stroke, set the uh, color to white and the size to any I normally like it to put I, I normally put it to three pixels and it looks like this and then go to drop shadow put, set the distance to zero the opacity to a hundred the spread to any if you don't if you don't even want to spread you don't have to and then just adjust that drop shadow to make it look really really cool so after that that's the way I like it it looks really nice after that, that's pretty much it. You go to File, Save As, and you can name it whatever I want. Model 5 Real, whatever. Set it to a PNG, and that's it. That's all you have to do to make uh, the profile picture that I have right now. So if this video helped, smash that like button and hit that subscribe button if you even want to. So it just takes like two seconds to hit it. It's not that difficult. But yeah. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. See ya! Turns out it's the end of the video, so time to promote my links. If you want to follow me on Roblox, it will be the first link in the description below. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it will be the second link in the description below. If you don't know what bruv is, this is what I call the people that watch my videos. So if you want to be my bruv, all you gotta do is hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. See ya!